I don't think that we had a clip this week that got America more agitated than David Sampson being the face of corporate greed and aligning himself with a CEO who argued that the economy has to feel pain, that people have to be unemployed, that the employer needs to get back in charge of an employee who wants to work at home. It was very unpopular. I got a lot of calls yesterday from people asking me what the hell kind of asshole David Sampson is. And I got some calls saying he's absolutely right that the American employee needs to get his or her ass in shape. Any of those pro Samson calls coming from within our own company? Well, our company's a funny one here, and I, <laughs> thank you, thank you for answer this one carefully. Thank you for bringing this up uh, because our company's a funny one. I thought of that CEO this morning when my morning started with, man, this is a weird, weird workplace, and you might ask yourself. Well, how was today any different than any other weird, weird workplace about how employees come and go as they please and don't have anything in the way of responsibility and we're a charming, charming mess. Mm -hmm. The reason that I thought about it this morning is because what I walked into today is that the Grim Reaper came into work a little early and got into an immediate argument with, I guess, his overlord, Mike Ryan. I think all of us would agree that Mike Ryan is, in general, symbolically, the boss of everything around here that is darkness. And the Grim Reaper was supposed to go to the bucket of death with Lucy and with Jessica and failed to do his job, allowed Jessica and Lucy to get out of here without death. And so I'm witnessing this morning the Grim Reaper, sad, bad employee. And I'm thinking to myself, I need to do something about the Reaper. The Reaper's not doing his job correctly. What kind of asshole am I as a CEO or a founder or, or just as a company builder? What kind of boss am I if I can't get the Reaper under control? If Lucy and Jessica can just escape without having to go to this thing that, well, what kind of boss am I? I never want to fucking do! I never want to do the bucket of death. I'm the only one around here who actually does the penalties. When's the last time any of you were in a costume? Any of you? Yeah. Costume. I put on a happy face every day I go to work. I had one, one punishment last year. Completed. Yeah. Juju, I'm not talking to you, although you did just arrive three seconds ago when, <laughs> when you didn't even <laughs> see any of I mean, the man's working. <laughs> you didn't see the stuff that happened with the Reaper. You weren't even here. You don't have to leave. <laughs> You don't have to immediately. Why are you wearing a glove? It's for your surgical glove. Look, I got to touch this bucket with y'all dirty ass hands in it. That's why I got the glove on, sir. Yeah, that place. Workplace. I did not realize that you were a germaphobe. What? I only say it every time I speak. Yeah. Yeah. Where are you? Yeah. He's the biggest. Welcome germaphobe. to 2023, brother. Yeah. That's why he likes Samson so much. Yeah, Zagak. Get, get to know your employees. This from Jimmy's window is closing at Dade Te ah. Teflon Don. Ah. Dan Lebetard selling out is really sad. Sports journalism is dead. Samson is a horrible person, but so is the guy giving him a platform oh. for clicks. Oh. Sellout? Yeah. Why would anyone call you a sellout? The Bucket of Death is brought to you by KFC's <laughs> new hot and spicy wings. Oh, I love those. Order an eight piece Whoa. of the new hot and spicy wings yeah. for $4.99 at a participating KFC today. It's finger licking. Good. Look how sad the Reaper looks. I mean, he was re he, the Reaper was reprimanded this morning uh, for, I mean, didn't do his job. You're looking for the Reaper to have a completion rate of 100%. I'll be drawing for myself and for Lucy, so I'll go ahead and go first for myself. A little rummage, rummage. I got the Kansas City Chiefs. All right, so Billy's got the Jags. You have a three-point favorite on the road I'm gonna at the go Jags. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to keep you it. You never I'm gonna put keep back the Chiefs. It's the, the, the rule. Put the it Chiefs. on the poll, please. Do you now, ever put back the Chiefs? Lucy. Did they start a game with Henny? I think they've started a Henny game. They ended one. We have the swap helmet. 
No. Oh, that's very valuable. That's not confusing. Throw it back. I feel like I should probably throw it back. Keep this. That's a good helmet yeah. to have. You keep. <laughs> now you pick another one. You pick for another Lucy, one. Pick another one. And yeah. And we'll to yeah, see what. Yours, you'll and we'll be find out. This is my first year doing the bucket. Yeah. Event. We'll find out who she'll swap with after the fact. So it's the Raiders. Okay. Tony's argument was. Ah. You can put the Raiders back. My headphones are. The Raiders. Working, so for everybody uh, making fun okay, of Okay. This. All right. This is how this segment goes. Always uh, good. Good. We're a media company. Your headphones don't work. Uh, Raiders at Bills. The Raiders are an eight and a half point dog against the Bills. I'm really confused though, Mike, for a number of reasons. One of them is last week we pulled Death of Grid. Nobody knows what it meant. Tony doesn't know how to play this game if he's asking to put the swap helmet back. The swap helmet is one of the few good things yeah. in there. You could take anyone else's I helmet. I was actually with Tony because having a swap helmet for someone that's not here just mm -hmm. makes this more of a mess. When I actually thought this edition was pretty buttoned up. Reaper, prior to. Reaper, what are you nodding about? Makes it more of a mess because you didn't do this Wait, with Lucy and Jessica. Is Lucy keeping the Raiders for the swap helmet? Because we're all inclined to say put it back. No, 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 because the first one doesn't count. They get the second one on those. The Reaper for editorializing is great. <laughs> like, That's a good point. Like, no, <laughs> I'm drawing a second helmet. Sure, sure, sure. Reaper, you don't, you don't, you're not involved in this other than to dispense death. He's That's giving the off an thing. annoyed vibe. Cardinals, all right, the an Cardinals. even worse helmet. Great. Oh my God, the Cardinals. Right. The Cardinals are the worst team in football, and they are a four-point underdog at home against the Giants. Only. Wow. Dan, here's the reason why Wolf you're wearing game. mad costumes and I'm not is because I say throw it back when it needs to be thrown back. That's oh, the difference. Got you there. That's the difference. <laughs> Tony, you're wearing, a, Tony, wearing a ton of costumes, Tony, brother. you're wearing a costume right now. <laughs> what is that helmet? The, Wizard, that? Of Oz. Yeah. the Wizard of Oz. Oh. Oh. Lion, a lion, a, bear. a tiger, or bear across all sports. Oh, my. Which means Lions you can take the Detroit Tigers if you'd like. No, no. Across <laughs> all sports. you got the Bengals, a minus three if you want a football team against the Ravens. The Jags are a three-point underdog against the Chiefs. Well, a jag isn't a I mean, you could take a college line, team. Right? UCLA. You take the um, I'm, I'm going to – you know what? No, no. I'm going to keep it, and I'm going to stay in the NFL, and I'm going to keep the Bengals minus three. I think big bounce back from Joe Burrow this week. All right. Good helmet. Thank you. Good. You could have, you could have chosen anything in sports. I'm sorry. The Boston that's right. Bruins. That's right. Opener. But I have a feeling about these Bengals. By the way, Mike, Mike is talking about me wearing a costume. Has, you, has everybody seen what Mike's wearing today? What you, what you wearing, Mike? He's UM from head to toe. Kane's gear from last night's game Weird. was a giant one. It was one. a big uh, win for the, the Miami Hurricanes. So Juju, go Bethune ahead Kirkman. and look up every day? on the – Go ahead, Kane's Juju. rolled. I got the Chargers. They at the Titans, minus oh, three. Got to know I'm keeping it. Yeah, Pockets extra sloppy. The Chargers, yes, uh, at the Titans. Tannehill was terrible. All right, I'm going That's for sweet. myself first because I also have to pick for Jessica. This is for me. First helmet. Seahawks. That's going back, I think. They're five. Yeah, they're at the Lions. Underdog. It's going back. Five and a half point underdog. Uh, pick a helmet here. The Jets, God damn it! Okay, <laughs> I was picking for Jess, right? That was for Jess. Yeah, Great. That's All my right. move. No, that that was, that's was, my move. That was for you. <laughs> All right, here's for the Jess. The Jets are an eight and a half point dog Jeez. against the Cowboys. Uh, the pink helmet, Big Apple. By the way, that's how you do it. What does that mean? Any New York team? Any New York team across any sport. Uh, you want to let me look? I mean, come back. <laughs> to me. I'll you put it. Screw. I'm putting it back. Throw it, the throw it back because it gets more Reds. confusing. Yeah. You want accountability. This is what you do. If you're not here, someone picks for you, but they get the choice of yeah. which pick is theirs and which <laughs> pick is yours, right? That way, it puts the pressure on Lucy and Jesse, whoever's not here, to be like, yo, Reaper, we need to do this now because I'm not letting this happen tomorrow. I like that rule. Yeah. Giants. Jess has the Giants. Do you, wanna, do you want to be the commissioner of this league? Billy was very bad at it, like the worst uh, I've ever seen. Would you like to be the commissioner of the league so that you can make rulings and you can... Uh, make rules. You don't know what kind of hell you've just invited. Aren't we always talking about his bad judgment and you want him in charge of something? <laughs> well, he just had a good idea. I have okay, a lot of great That's ideas. all it takes? That's a barometer? Uh, ah, good uh, idea? Metal Lark will take from any of you a single birthed good idea. Like, if you can all produce one single idea that is good, I'm here for it. That's I'm waiting wacky. for it. We've been here for two years and haven't done it yet. Also, Biff's 1985. Not that bad. That was a dilapidated courthouse. Now it's a casino. 
Roy, what did you just pick? Bears. No, throwing back. <laughs> the Bears are a three-point dog at the Buccaneers. The Patriots. Look. The Patriots are a two-and-a-half-point underdog at home against the Dolphins. You are betting against the Dolphins. But they are wearing red throwbacks. For what it's Why does that Dolphin spread so small? That makes me nervous. <laughs> Green Bay Packers with my first pool. One-point dog at Falcons. Ow. I'm going to keep this one. Bijou. That's how. Who? Bijan. Bijan. I don't know why you made it Bijou. Bijou's a club in Boston. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> Okay. Uh, yes, that's all the that Mike Smith. I told you he's gained weight, put on a mustache, and he's just going to ride B. John Robinson into the future. It's not Mike to- Smith. That, that's a former Falcons coach. I'm sorry. Uh, ah. What is his name? <laughs> Alex. I think there is Arthur. There Ar- Arthur. Yeah, he's Arthur an, Smith. Yeah, yeah. Smith, Artie, bad. come to Bijou with me. <laughs> my bad. That's a fine. All right, I'm rummaging. Mike Smith wasn't he the coach that looked like a Guess Who character? <laughs> I got them boys. The Cowboys are a big favorite against the Jets. Eight and a half point favorite. I'm keeping it. I hate the Cowboys. Reaper, I've got to decide uh, what it is your punishment is for getting into an argument with Mike Ryan before the show. I shouldn't be allowed to look in there and just <laughs> just pick. Yeah, I you should put all, that one back. I see all the well, let's let our commissioner make a ruling. Oh, the, the Reaper is taking <laughs> the law into his own hands or their their own hands. Sorry, Reaper. <laughs> The Bills. I have the Bills. I'll take the Bills yeah. as an eight and a half point favorite against the Raiders. Yes, you do have the Bills. You have all the Bills, Dan. Thank you. Kudos <laughs> Thank you, to man. us. This one was pretty clean. Yeah. It was? Yeah, this one really? was pretty clean. How about clean. us? Good job, everyone. Good job. <laughs> I'm not I don't have that much resentment towards my fellow castmates. It's a good, good, good pool. Good to, pool. To be clear, next week do we enact the absentee rule? I like that rule. Yeah. But you oh, don't it like, just keeps the segments clean. But you don't like Amin as the as the commissioner. I'm just saying we may want to think about that. I know we're starved for good ideas, but like we are. He's right. he's got terrible he's got famously terrible judgment. But great ideas. It's a it's a conundrum. I look, man. <laughs> and also perhaps real, an overstatement. A real Sophie's choice. <laughs> Do 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 do